Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Recently a lot of you have been asking me to do a video where I show you some hairstyles for short hair. I feel like a lot of girls with short hair struggle with what to do with it. So today I thought I would show you 10 of my quickest, easiest, cutest hairstyles for short hair. So I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get on with it. So the first hairstyle is definitely the most simple. So first of all, I'm just clipping my hair half up, half down and spraying it with heat protectant spray. I am then taking my GHD straighteners and just straightening through the bottom layer. Then I will let down the top half and do exactly the same to this layer. Using one of these little pointy combs, I'm really sorry, I'm not sure what they're called, I'm going to give myself a middle part in before I straighten it through. If you prefer a little bit of a messy look, you can run your fingers through your hair, but for this particular look, I was going for more of a neat, classy sort of finish. Or alternatively, you can take this hairstyle and give yourself a side parting, take some dry shampoo to give it some more volume, rough it up, back comb it a little bit, and there you have your messy, straightened look. So for this second look, you want to brush and straighten your hair, then taking a comb, you're going to give yourself a side parting quite far over to the side of your head. You are then going to give yourself a second parting so that you kind of have the shape of a T on the top of your head, and you want to tie up the back of your hair to keep it out of the way, and you should have this section free at the front. Then taking your comb again, you're going to section off a slither of hair closest to your first parting. And we are going to French braid this front section. If you are not familiar with French braiding, there are so many tutorials on YouTube. I'm not great at explaining it, but this is how I do mine. It does not have to be neat, let me stress that. And then tie it off using a small elastic. Like I said, I prefer it messy, so I'm going to pull bits of hair out of the braid and I'm going to mess it up quite a lot. Then let down the rest of your hair and take a small section of hair from the back underneath of your head. This will allow you to tie your braid to this section of hair and keep it out of the way for the rest of the day. And as long as you choose a chunk of hair from the underneath of your head, the rest of your braid is going to stay hidden. And this is the final look. I think this one is so cute and it's perfect for keeping your short hair out of your face. The third hairstyle is super easy, so once you have brushed and straightened your hair, you're going to section off a top layer of your hair and using your fingers, brush all your hair back into the same direction. Tie it off with a small elastic and again you can pull bits of hair out and mess it up a little bit if you want to. I then chose to take this small hair bow, I actually got this from the Builder Bear workshop, it's the ones that go on the bear's ears, but it looks so cute in your hair. I'm not sure if I'm cool enough for this next hairstyle, but these are the space buns. So you want to give yourself a middle part in and push your hair back into the same direction. Taking the top section of hair, you're going to twist it into a small bun. Is it just me or does this look remind everyone of Miley Cyrus instantly? Tie the bun off with a small elastic and do the same thing on the other side of your head. If any bits of the bun aren't cooperating with you, you can take a bobby pin and just pin it in place. Again, this is supposed to be a messy, kind of just thrown together look, so don't worry if your two buns don't look the same. And this is me having a little party for one. <laughs> for the fifth hairstyle, you're going to start off by using some dry shampoo in your hair, then brush it through to make it a bit more neat, and back comb it for a little bit of extra volume. Then tilting your head back, you want to get all of your hair running in the same direction and slowly add pieces of your hair to your ponytail. Once again, I'm going to mess it up, pull a bit of hair out and you might need to straighten your ponytail if you feel like your hair's looking a bit all over the place. And then using a bobby pin, I'm going to pin up those underneath hairs that all of us girls with short hair have to deal with on a daily basis. Hairstyle number six is incredibly similar, it's practically the same hairstyle but with a bun instead. I feel like this one is quite a nice smart casual look. Because this hairstyle keeps all of your hair out your face, this would be perfect for school or work or even if you're just chilling out on a hot day. Look number seven is one that I go for a lot. The easiest way to do this is to tip your head upside down but you are going to put your hair in a high ponytail. Then I always pull bits out to make it look a lot more messy. Are you feeling yet that messy is my kind of look? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I get these little pineapple bits of hair just because of the way my hair is cut. So if you're not a fan of that, you can always tuck it underneath your ponytail and it will keep it down. I then just quickly hopped in the shower and dampened my hair brushed it through and put it in French braids because for the next few hairstyles I'm going to need wavy to curly hair. So I'm going to give myself a middle parting all the way down my head, tie off one half to keep it out the way, and then it might be difficult but you're going to attempt a French braid down the side of your head. You probably won't be able to get it to the back of your head purely because if you have short hair that's quite difficult. So I find that my French braids are kind of more down the side of my head but that's alright because I'm just going to sleep anyway. Tie it off with a small elastic and do exactly the same to the other side. Then you are ready for bed. This hair size is actually super comfortable to sleep on as well. 10 out of 10 recommend. So when you wake up in the morning, it should look something like this. I'm gonna take it out and my hair will have a nice subtle wave. I'm then gonna take a comb and give myself a side parting, but you do not want to brush through your hair at this stage because it will turn it into a massive frizz bomb. This could be a hairstyle itself, but I'm gonna take it one step further and do a braid down the side of my head. So using your smaller section of hair, you're gonna start a French braid and do it kind of similarly to the way you've just slept on it. But obviously try and do it a bit more neat and it's gonna be a lot smaller braid too. And then when you get to about behind your ear, just secure your braid with a bobby pin. This look is really pretty and it could definitely be dressed up or dressed down. Hairstyle number nine is one of my all time favourites. It's kind of similar to the hairstyle with the bow. So you're just gonna section off a top layer of hair and using your fingers, brush your hair back into the same direction. And you're then gonna twist it into a small top knot on the top of your head. How cute is that? This looks really nice with straight hair too, but I definitely prefer it with wavy hair. I feel like it gives it a lot more volume and just generally I think the messy look suits this hairstyle a bit more. Hairstyle number 10 is how I do my loose curls. First of all, I spray my hair with heat protectant spray. I use the Babyliss Waving Wand on the 185 degrees Celsius setting. Then I literally just take different sections of my hair, all different shapes, all different sizes. Here's me having a little dance party for one again. <laughs> hold the curling wand in your hair for about eight seconds, and then if you hold the curl against your head just for a couple of seconds afterwards, while it immediately cools, it will help your curls last a bit longer. Then I might do a thinner bit, a smaller bit, a thicker bit, just so that it doesn't all look the same. Obviously you can also do some tighter curls, some looser curls, just jazz it up however you wish. Then using your fingers, you're gonna comb through your curls to make them a bit more subtle. At the minute they're looking a bit ringlety, I'm looking a little bit like a doll. You can add a bit of dry shampoo if you feel you need to. Mess it up a bit, shake around a bit, and there you have your messy loose curls. So those are the 10 hairstyles that I'm going to be showing you today. I hope this video has helped you out if you felt like you needed a bit of guidance. Do subscribe if you haven't already and you can see my videos every single Thursday. So I will see you again next week with a new video. Bye!